Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I guess I'm going to build a dump trailer. So, uh, I've been wanting a dump trailer for several years now. And I built kind of a light manual dump trailer a couple of years ago. Uh, and it worked for what it was, but I couldn't haul a lot in it. <coughs> and I got to thinking the other day that, I mean, there's so many times that I need a dump trailer. And I was looking around on Craigslist, and man, those things are just crazy expensive. You never find them uh, for a decent deal up here. I think Homestead Prepper found one for an excellent deal, uh, but not up here. So, um, uh, where my wife works, one of the owners had a, I wish I had a picture of it. You'll see it here in a bit. Had an old uh, trailer out back, and... Uh, it was, was made out of an old Ford bed and frame. So I got to looking at that, and I was like, well, that's like halfway there. And I told her to send him a text, and he said, yeah, he'll sell it, 75 bucks. So <laughs> that was a steal. So uh, we went and got it. And it's a 60s or 70s model, I don't know, uh, bed. And, you know, for some reason... All of the bolts come out easily. I've never taken bed bolts out. And if you ever have either, you know that it doesn't come out easily. So all of them come out easy. Uh, we pull the bed on it. Frame's in good shape. Uh, it's a six lug pattern. I don't I don't know what heavy of an axle or what rear end it has in it. But uh, now we're here. And what I'm doing is trying to see if I can explain this <clears throat> without having too much of a visual. This right here is going to mount down on the bottom side of the bed and then I'm making hinges out of these big grade 8 bolts and taking uh, this pipe like this to make the hinges out of it and then I'm going to try to drill and tap and put zert fittings on that and then I will weld these like that to there Weld the bolts. I'll weld this to those, and this will go on the frame, and then that will be the hinges. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut uh, two more of these out. Try to get them tapped. And it's been a while since I've done a build video on here, so I'm long overdue. I got the other two hinges cut. I got them all drilled and tapped, and dirt fittings put in them. Now I have to kind of lay this out and make sure that everything is perfect, you know, as far as where all the bolts go. Because if you have it off a little bit, uh, it's just going to rip it out of the bed because it's not, you're going to have more pushing on one side than the other. It's not going to equal out. So I'm going to lay this out, see if I can get it right. This is uh, what I come up with as far as the hinges go. Now, uh, I'm no welder, and I'm definitely no stick welder, and most of this was stick welded because I want to learn how to stick weld, and my stick welder is a lot better than my MIG welder, and it penetrates a lot deeper, so I went with it. I initially went through and put laid some beads down with the MIG, uh, it's a flux core, and then I come back and stick welded everything. Uh, I had to put risers under the here to lift this up, and then as you can see I had to put uh, gaps or not gaps I had to put uh, something between that to, to cause that to be a gap I just cut grade 8 bolts and put in there and weld them on both sides I probably could have got by with two of these uh, hinges but I put four in like I said I'm not very confident in a lot of my welding so overbuild it and uh, this right here mounts to the bed that mounts to the frame uh, what I'm going to do is bolt this piece right here through the frame and then I will weld all the corners up and then right here I'll put probably two or three big grade 8 bolts through the bed and then on the back side of the bed I'll put a 3 8, three eight inch piece of metal and kind of sandwich it together so I'm hoping that this will fit uh, my measurements are kind of I know it'll fit this way uh, I'm just worried about stuff lining up so We'll see. I forgot to uh, to bring my camera down, so 
I'm shooting this with my phone. I have the hinge system installed, as you can see, and it tilts good. Um, I'm just going to have to figure out about the hydraulics and do a bunch of welding on that. Uh, that L bracket that you see there to hook it to the frame. I just have it bolted to the frame on each side. So I'm going to go back and weld all that in and make it as stiff as I can. So it's a couple days later and I've got the dump trailer to the house. So I'll give you a quick update. This is probably still part one. Uh, as you can see right through here, I put the uh, piece of angle iron because the bed is scooted forward a couple inches and it was missing that. And then back here in the back, I've added the uh, the hinges I put them in that I was building. And then I come around through here and added supports. And then I welded it all up and I'm putting big three quarter inch bolts through it. Uh, but for some reason, I wasn't thinking when I made the or when I did the plate for this side I threw a piece of angle iron in here I'd, I was thinking for some reason that was gonna be at the top but it's at the bottom so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to pull that piece of angle out and put it in the shop press and see if I can flatten it out I got the plates cut the bottom plate here is what's gonna be mounted to the bottom of the bed and in the center is where the hydraulic ram is going to be mounted that's what's going to push up the top piece right here is going to be mounted on the top side of the bed and that's going to be kind of just to sandwich it together so like i was saying uh the big plate will go in here the ram will probably mount kind of in the middle and then what i'm thinking about doing is over here where the original bolt holes were to put uh pins through there so when it sets down it'll go through the angle iron that I put down here to kind of keep it from swaying back and forth and then in the bed I'll show you that uh, my plans for that I'm not sure if I want to go through this or not I'm not sure if I want to implement this part or not okay this is the part where I'm not real sure on if you can if you remember I had a piece of angle iron going through there I was going to push it out or press it out in the press flat I did about five inches of it and it's just taking too long so I cut out a big piece of diamond plate to go right there. Now what I'm thinking about doing is taking this angle iron and bolting it to the bottom where the plate is, the big plate, and then going up here and bolting it where the uh, where the big plate is. So kind of it'll give it uh, more rigid going this way. So I'll have, it'll be rigid this way and rigid that way. So it's kind of like a, a subframe that's doing the whole... Uh, that's taking the whole brunt of everything, the, the pressure of the ram, and just the beds kind of just to hold the material. Um, I'd like to do that on the bottom, but I don't think that I can. Uh, I don't have room, so uh, I don't think that'll hold a lot up. I'll take the corners up here and cut them at an angle so stuff won't get hung on it. So let me know what y'all think about this part right here, uh, the angle iron. And part two will be coming up. I've ordered everything. I've ordered the ram and the pump. I gotta mount the toolbox on the front and uh, get some hoses and just weld up some brackets. As always, thanks for watching.